What's up guys? I'm here with Lambo Lyle here at uh, Mikey's here. So I've got this Express S4 and I'm like, all right, you know, I'd like to have six seats. So why don't we, why don't we drive what probably is considered the Lamborghini of golf carts, right? This is the Garia. And uh, this is a six seating, fully upgrade premium package. Yes, yes guys, it does have this. In just a second, you're gonna see the product rep. He's gonna go through it, but uh, we're gonna take it on a quick test drive and see if it needs a new home. So come on along with Guys, us. check this out. We've got premium steering wheel, okay? And all this fun stuff, we're gonna, now this goes what, 25 law? Yes. All yes. right. So double wishbone suspension on this thing, as you'll see from the product rep. And we'll see. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Lyle, oh man, you could have sold it to me, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, it's a, uh, it's a golf car. You know, it uh, it might. So what I've been doing, guys, I've test drove a few of them at this point, but I've just been going over here to the left. Because, you know, we've got a nice SUV on our butt. But this is street legal. It has disc brakes, so they actually work. It's one thing easy go, you know, more or less sucks up. Drum, Drum brakes. Oh, God. Ah, that's nice. Oh, well. Happy wife. I'm, I'm honestly generally shocked, though, that they didn't buy this. I, I was expecting you to tell me it was sold. That's why you didn't call back. Last night, yeah, that's the reason why I hadn't called you back is because I had not gotten the firm yes or no either way. So, so guys, I, I was. Mikey and was like, "Hey man, I need to know what to do here. I got a guy yeah. wanting to buy this thing. He's not gonna, you know, let, let me have this forever." And that's what I was doing. I was working on you. Know, when you walked in, I was like, "Oh, cool." Look, look. You, you're gonna sell this golf cart, guys. I mean, I, I, I literally told Lyle here I was gonna buy this, right? And uh, we had, we ended up having another cart that came out of nowhere on me. And I thought he had sold it to somebody else. And no hard feelings. But I love the Garia. Like, this car is... I mean, this is like the... I mean, you know me. I got an Aston Martin. You guys know I like nice things. I mean, this is this is really nice. I mean, even up a hill, it's still 19 miles an hour. So, if you, if you know, I use my golf cart, honestly, probably five times a week. I mean, maybe six times a week. Like, if it's nice weather, we're always out. We're going to the park. We're going to the pool. We're going to the clubhouse. You guys know I live in the Grove, so in the end of the day, like this is this is pretty much where it's at. And I mean, the fact that you have all of these seats and everything's just high quality, yeah, it's thirty six thousand dollars, thirty six thirty six thousand two hundred for this exact spec. If you went to buy it today from their website, and you know they they were they've got a great deal on it. So you know it. It, uh, somebody's gonna be really happy. It sounds like somebody's already bought it. They just haven't firmly made the decision yet. But Lyle's gonna get it done. We know it. Or, or Mickey's gonna get it done. Cause you know, Lyle's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna call him up and say, "Hey, tell you what I'm gonna do." <laughs> She's gonna be so happy with this thing. Hey, consider this video. Maybe, maybe that'll send her over the edge. <laughs> she can know. She can know that it, she took it from me. She stole it from me. Oh man, what a great, what a great uh, experience. I mean, it's okay. Look, it's still a golf cart, right? But it just drives so darn well. It's got plenty of speed, pickup. Looks sexy as hell. So, oh yeah, and then of course you know, as you'll see with the product rep, the battery. But you know, here's here's the preview of that, and then uh, he'll go over the battery again in the next clip. But. Uh, this is just the test drive portion, but I love it. I mean, I, it's it's a total want. It, you don't, you know, you don't. Nobody needs a thirty-six thousand dollars golf cart, but 
why not? As far as we know, we can't take our money with us, right? And we only got one shot at this, so <laughs> bye, Agaria. All right, guys, hope this was an enjoyable uh, introduction. The next time you see the next clip is going to be with the product rep. What's his name again? Oh, uh, James, right? Was James, it? sorry. James it is. All right, we'll see you Before soon. Before we get there, though, I think it's called Guria, right? Correct, Guria. Guria. Yes. Now, I would say Garia, but Guria it is. Guria it is, correct, yes. Now, if you want to purchase one of these, because, you know, you're going to see me driving it potentially, but you come see Lyle here, okay? He'll hook you up, okay? Uh, but right. yeah, this is, uh, this is a really yeah, nice one. It's a basic automobile with yeah. some good, basically available to fit on a golf course, and that's the design of it. So I want you to think of this as an outdoor yeah. car. And what that has is multiple yeah. computers that talk to each other. So the vehicle has the best experience for the customer. The ergonomics of the seating, as well as the steering wheels, more like an automobile, not like a golf cart. So when you're driving this, it feels a bit more like a car. It feels more like a car. Look at the pedals. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, pushing down on some of the golf cart pedals to lock it. You can get out at any time the vehicle wants to come to a rest and a stop on its own. So it's a very seamless vehicle that provides like a luxury feel. And when you think of that luxury, you have an actual working refrigerator in here. And if you could feel it with a temperature gun, it's probably around 45 or 50 degrees. And it's actually something that when you turn the key off and you go in, the refrigerator will actually stay on for a short period of time and then turn itself off. So if you forget the refrigerator's on, it's fine. But if you were at someone's house or wanted to hang out to watch an outdoor movie, you can always have the refrigerator moving, put a warm one from the back in while you take the cold one out. So uh, it's one of those luxury components that we add to the vehicle. Solid windshield, heated windshield. You actually see the actual lines on the inside and the glass through here. And it also has a uh, washer fluid and a wiping system so it's very similar to a car this right here allows you to have an airfoil and that drives for the air to be, give you turbulence so you can have, you feel like you're actually outside a bit when you're driving without having to worry about the, the top being down and too much air coming around you so it's more of a uh, I guess a, a comfort feel when it comes down the road you basically have the opportunity to have adjustable shocks that are on the car. You can adjust them to the field, and you can actually adjust the takeoff as well as the speed. Or if you wanted someone else to drop the valley mode, or if you wanted to make sure you're high speed on the road, mm -hmm. and that's basically your agreement. Hmm. And the battery. Talk about the battery. The battery. You do have a battery, and there's multiple options that they have. There's a lead acid regular battery, but what you're looking at here is a lithium battery. The lithium battery set, we have been using this in our vehicle since 2016. And in Europe, we actually start with a utility product where we use it as a, a the reliable for around 1,100 vehicles for the um, uh, postal services in Norway. It's called Postal, you can look it up. And so we use that same product here in the Gria and basically it charges between five and a half hours. If it's from all the way dead, it'll charge all the way to 100%. Mm -hmm. And it's no, uh, service is on it whatsoever. If you forget and you leave and the key is on, the voltage gets down, it'll shut itself off. It won't damage the battery. If you actually want to, um, uh, you forget to plug it in the charge and the key is off, it'll notice that the key is off and it'll turn itself off and mm -hmm. it'll stay stored. I've done a test up to nine months on the storage test, so therefore you could actually just come back in, press the button on the side, turn the battery back on, and you're ready to drive. What kind of range? You should be able to produce about 20 miles of actual range with this configuration. Now okay. you can get a little bit more mileage out of it if you knock the speed down, but don't go as fast. But and it goes 25 miles an hour. Street legal at 25 miles per hour. You should probably about 20 miles in this area with this elevation change. Mm -hmm. You've got three more years of warranty on this particular battery. If you bought a brand new one, you've got five years of warranty on it. And what is this brand new MSRP roughly the way it's configured? With the two, with the four plus two is what it's called. This is roughly around thirty-two to thirty-five thousand um, dollars. It has a premium package on there, uh, so if we were to build it today, if you come up and still build the regular tires, you might be around thirty-four thousand dollars with this configuration, with the backup camera, the premium package, of the refrigerator, and the four plus two. Uh, this is a twin. This is Does a have a backup camera option right here. Which one? This one right here this is a three thousand. This is a three thousand dollar option to have this seating on here so you can buy uh -huh. it but if you wanted to put a back seat on it it's a three thousand dollar option particularly for this piece here um interesting you should have i haven't texted this vehicle yet but you oh, do have yeah. an actual backup camera here as well 
So if you're in the house, you need to get back there. Yeah, of course. You gotta have a backup camera. And also at night, which is really cool, because if you've ever been fumbling around um, and it's dark in a golf cart, these LED dome lights. I mean, it, actually, oh, yeah. it, it comes up. It's really nice at night. And then if you actually want to go somewhere and leave your valuables, you've got a lockable front bonnet. And the only reason you can take it up is if you actually have the key inside. The key. Okay. So uh, the young lady actually put, took her purse and put her key in her purse and dropped the purse in and then shut it. Oops. And then like called later, like, how do I get in? Well, you kind of need the key. She's like, oh, it really does lock. It's like, yeah, it's a lockable item for you to leave your purse in. Got it. But anyway, and this has a double wishbone suspension and all that jazz, Double right? wishbone suspension, steel braided brake lines. It's basically race inspired the way it's designed. And just to understand the people that designed this car Crazy. were car people and not golf people. Yeah. They made them as a car to fit the thing. Europe, they're all designed to drive a 40 miles per hour. I spent about 60 days over there in the last couple of years. And we drive these around to the dinner and in other places. We drive three of them at 40 miles per hour. Mm. But max speed 25, so they're very safe versus a golf cart that was designed to go 15 miles per hour. That sometimes they put them out of this unsafe mode at 25 or 30. This is designed 40, and we brought this back down so we perfect set. Interesting. That's nice. Very cool. So there it is, guys. And I hope it was helpful. It was. There is your world. Is this considered the world's nicest golf cart, basically? This is the uh, world's most luxurious golf car. Golf car. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, not in my place, but yeah, in general. <laughs>